I think for our project, as for any citizen science project, there are different aspects. And one important aspect is that you involve the public in gathering data or in analyzing data. So they contribute to the science, which helps them experience what science is about, helps them get more trust in science. And on the other hand, an important aspect is this engagement of the public and thereby educating the public. I think citizen science is a great way to open up science to society, to involve the public, to show why science is important um, and really let them experience the science themselves instead of just learning about it at schools uh, or, or just hearing about it in the media. The Plastic Pirates Go Europe initiative is a European citizen science initiative where uh, young European citizens, uh, mostly school children, become scientists and they go to a nearby river or waterway and investigate uh, the degree and the origins of plastic waste flowing down rivers, which is then being analyzed by researchers and processed for data on plastic pollution of European rivers. I really like the phrase mutual learning and I think mutual learning sums up very well the spirit of this whole exercise that countries have been willing to learn from each other in a very open and constructive and very enthusiastic kind of way. At each meeting there have been discussion documents and reports written afterwards and they're all available on a common repository and they're very valuable documents in addition to the final report. What we've learned through the MLE is that the most important is actually the culture change. We need to change or see this value of societal engagement in research and also in science policy. We've planned at least three activities so far. One is to support a mapping exercise of all the previous existing and ongoing projects at citizen science to support the establishment of a citizen science network which will enable capacity building in, in the field. And lastly, and perhaps most importantly, we're hoping and done our homework to uh, uh, publish a call, a specific call on citizen science uh, projects for this year, for 2023. Sustaining citizen science, uh, because it's very important uh, that we have a great local initiative and um, it might be upscaled then uh, first of all a reliable long-term funding should be accessible so that this project can be elevated. And the other very important thing that uh, was triggered by the country visit of the MLE Working Group in Hungary that we now established a communication network, kind of a mailing list, which is the starting point to develop a citizen science observatory in Hungary for the first time. One of the main impacts, in my view, is that citizens um, feel empowered to better understand science and become part of the knowledge system and better understand how scientific knowledge is gathered and accumulated. I think that we are able to do excellent research with citizen science as a research approach and uh, gain new perspectives on scientific knowledge and how scientific knowledge is gathered by doing this participatory research approach. So one lesson learned is really take your time, uh, invest in getting many, many people on the table to get this multi-perspectives uh, really into shape. And what we also learned from this is that we now have something in our hands to actually present to policymakers really sound scientific citizen science recommendations um, to further mainstream and broaden citizen science in Germany, and it's worth it. At the political level, in the context of European research area, uh, we have recognized uh, citizen science as one of the key political priorities on which we have to work together with the member states and as one of the principles on the way that research should be delivered. And I'm looking forward on how the outcomes will be implemented across Europe to enhance further citizens' engagement in the different member states' activities for research and innovation.